Do we have to test anything? Voice, camera, we good? We really good. We're really oh. good.
Hey guys, I'm here. Sorry to be a few minutes late. I thought uh, the secretary was going first and I could join a few minutes after, but I know you're waiting to make sure everybody's on. Good afternoon. My name is Erin Moore and I am the Chief Human Capital Officer at the Department of Energy and it is my pleasure to welcome you and your family to the 2022 Secretary Honor Awards Ceremony. Since 2007, the Secretary's Honor Awards Program has recognized individuals and teams of world-class scientists, brilliant engineers, outstanding policy experts, and dedicated public servants who have worked tirelessly to create a brighter future. And today is no exception. To begin our 2022 Honor Awards Ceremony, I am honored to introduce Secretary Jennifer Granholm to provide her opening remarks. Great, thank you, Erin. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Secretary's Honor Awards. Uh, today, we're celebrating colleagues who've really made significant and lasting contributions to the department and, of course, in turn, to our nation. These awards were given out our our highest form of internal recognition for federal and contractor employees. This year, we're recognizing 44 different teams, more than 2,500 awardees among those teams. And we are recognizing them for, for incredible achievements that they notched throughout last year. From making important progress on implementing the historic Biden-Harris clean energy laws and, and meeting the president's clean energy goals to, to keeping our crucial nuclear security and cleanup missions moving forward to, to unlocking uh, truly earth shattering scientific breakthroughs. These teams have taken on really tough challenges and they've delivered, they've delivered results. And for that service to our country, they have our utmost appreciation. And today we're also recognizing five individuals with an excellence award and making um, them realize how much we appreciate their singular achievement that demonstrates really a high level of performance and outstanding leadership in public service. And these five individuals are Matthew Tardwano from the Office of Cybersecurity, Energy Security and Emergency Response, CSER. And Matt has demonstrated extraordinary leadership in our energy, energy sector monitoring efforts. Dwayne Whitfield, he's from the Office of the Chief Information Officer. His innovative thinking has helped the Office of Small and Disadvantaged Business Utilization meet the department's ambitious small business goals. Lamitia Brown from the Office of Policy, who's played an indispensable part in reorganizing and rebuilding the Office of Policy from the ground up. Laura Hartman from the NNSA, the National Nuclear Security Administration. She has been the engine behind multi-billion dollar projects to recapitalize naval reactors programs, nuclear fuel life cycle capabilities projects. And finally, Michael Nifuntoff from, again, the NNSA, who delivered a first of its kind unclassified network for use by NNSA Naval Nuclear Laboratories. Pearl S. Buck, who is the first American woman to win a Nobel Prize for Literature, she once observed that the secret of joy in work is contained in one word, excellence. To know how to do something well is to enjoy it. Our awardees take on varied roles in the department, but what they all share is a deep commitment to excellence. And that's what makes DOE into what uh, some of us have called, and I hope you all will, America's Solutions Department. I hope that our awardees derive as much enjoyment from their work as the pride that we draw from their contributions. But I suspect that what ultimately motivates them is service to their country and to the members of their community. People come to this department because we are mission driven to make an impact, to help us understand the world around us more, to 
overcome challenges and to create new possibilities. And we need that now more than ever. Under this administration, the resources that DOE has at hand are unprecedented. And therefore, so too are the responsibilities. It is a true gift for me and for all of DOE leadership, for the wider administration, really for all of the American people to have all of our awardees helping us to meet these responsibilities and make the most of this moment. So on behalf of the department, congratulations and thank you. It is an honor and a privilege to call you colleagues. And with that, let me turn it back to Aaron. Thank you, Madam Secretary. And as the Secretary mentioned, we have an action-packed agenda this afternoon, as we'll be presenting 49 honor awards to recipients all across the entire department. You'll hear a wide range of outstanding accomplishments achieved by our award recipients that have helped to further our varied missions. These awards are going to be presented by major portfolio. First, we'll recognize the achievements in the Secretary and Deputy Secretary portfolio, and then we'll honor the accomplishments by each undersecretary. Many of the teams we will honor today are comprised of well over 100 members. So as the achievement award citations are read for our larger teams, you'll see multiple slides with the recipients' names. Now, I am excited to welcome Deputy Secretary David Turk for the reading of the citations for the Secretary Honor Awards for the departmental elements who report directly to the Secretary and Deputy Secretary of Energy. Well, thank you very much, Aaron, and congratulations to all who are winning awards. I know we uh, are all incredibly uh, mission driven and incredibly busy and always looking ahead to what more we need to do. But I think it is not only appropriate, I think it's incredibly important to recognize the achievements, to take a step back and recognize the excellence uh, throughout our department, and especially those who are winning awards today, whether in an individual capacity, in a team capacity, recognizing that outstanding leadership and execution. As much as we've got funding, as much as we've got great facilities, as much as, much as we've got a lot of additional policy levers, especially in the energy and climate space than we've ever had before, uh, it all comes to execution. And execution depends on people, individuals, and teams. And it depends on the kind of uh, excellence and execution as the secretary so eloquently spoke about. So it's particularly exciting to be with you all. And I've got a bunch of awards myself. And as Aaron said, we'll uh, then pass the torch on to uh, the undersecretaries as well for awards within their uh, areas uh, as well. So uh, let's start with uh, two of the five individual winners for the Secretary's Excellence Award. I'll do two and then the other three will get picked up uh, by others. And again, as a reminder for these excellent Secretary of Energy's Excellence Awards, these are uh, bestowed for a singular accomplishment that demonstrates a high level of performance and outstanding leadership in public service. So the first individual I am proud to recognize is Dwayne Whitfield from the Office of the Chief Information officer for his high level of performance and outstanding leadership in the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Small and Disadvantaged Business Utilization, meeting the department's ambitious and incredibly important small business goals. In response to inefficient processes, and we should all be looking for ways to improve our processes, right? And uh, a lot of this falls on individuals to look for opportunities to really step up and do things in a different way, do things in a more efficient way. And that is certainly incredibly uh, true of Mr. Whitfield. Uh, in response to the processes he's found, uh, Mr. Whitfield analyzed three years of customer data and performed an unsupervised machine learning technique, topic modeling, to determine reoccurring requests. So I know that's a mouthful. Uh, it means it's using technology. It's looking at how we can use that to leverage uh, improvements going forward. He created specifically a human-centered design process called artificial intelligence design sprint resulting in conversational AI and small business smart search prototypes. Uh, the former is a web-based text tool developed to alleviate intake and query burdens and even in its pilot phase. And if you understood nothing of what I said in the previous two sentences, I think this part all stand out, saved 188 hours just in the pilot stage 
and fourteen thousand per month, fourteen thousand dollars per month. So incredible savings of time and money. Uh, the latter of these replaced the Office of Small and Disadvantaged Business Utilization's antiquated method of organizing data, adding speed and efficiency efficiency to search their small business database by capabilities, socioeconomic group certifications, and previous experience. Uh, Dwayne's uh, efforts have been noticed across the government. Hopefully it doesn't mean Dwayne is looking at jobs across the government. Dwayne, we hope you stay here at DOE. It's the best place to work across the government, I can assure you. Um, but it has been noticed across the government and sought out by multiple federal agencies for consultation as we try to help them use similar tools to meet their small business uh, goals. The contributions and achievements were substantial, far exceeded the normal expectations of his job as a data scientist. And I think we'll see some commonalities about people looking for opportunities stepping up above and beyond. So for this contribution to our U.S. Department of Energy and our nation, Mr. Dwayne Whitfield is awarded uh, the Secretary of Energy Excellence Award. Congratulations, Dwayne. All right, second individual I am proud to recognize is Lamisha uh, Brown and uh, Lamitia or Lamitia, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, uh, your name, but um, from the Office of Policy leading our operations, including all aspects of human capital. Just to give you a sense of uh, Mrs. Brown's uh, outstanding achievements and uh, doing so in incredibly challenging circumstance. I think there's a commonality there uh, as well. Uh, Mrs. Brown oversaw and executed the hiring during her tenure over the last few years of over 100 personnel uh, to create the Office of Energy Policy and Systems Analysis and found follow-on opportunities for many of those individuals when the office's mission changed. Uh, when you have an administration change, sometimes the mission changes. And in this case, Mrs. Brown went above and beyond for those people she hired to make sure that they had opportunities that they could excel uh, elsewhere um, beyond the Office uh, 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 of Policy. And over the last two years, uh, we've rebuilt the Office of Policy from the ground up. Incredibly important, that Office of Policy is playing such an important role. Many of the provisions, sorry to digress a little bit, many of the provisions that were included in the Inflation Reduction Act, the bipartisan infrastructure legislation, uh, were as good as they are and as impactful as they will be because of the Office of Policy and the incredible talent that Mrs. Brown brought into that office. Hiring, onboarding more than 30 employees establishing business processes, facilitating opportunities for talent development. That has had such an impact on these historic bills that have been passed and now the implementation of those bills. Uh, Mrs. Brown's working approach, both as talented manager and individual contributor, has been truly professional, collaborative, and focused on impact, real world impact. Uh, delivered a generation of energy policy and analysis talent to our department. Allowed DOE to effectively support secretarial, White House, and congressional priorities. For uh, her contributions to the U.S. Department of Energy and the nation, Mrs. Brown is awarded the Secretary of Energy Excellence Award. Congratulations for an incredibly well-earned uh, award. We'll have some additional individual award winners coming up, but I'm now going to shift over into recognize 15 teams within the Secretary of Energy's uh, office area, and it's the Secretary of Energy's Achievement uh, Award. The first eight of those, a full eight number of teams, are from our incredibly hardworking and dedicated environmental management uh, team. The first of these teams within EM I am proud to recognize is the Accelerated Basin de Inventory Team. You see on the screen the full list of the team members. Extraordinary dedication to create, plan, and implement a novel approach to spent nuclear fuel disposition called accelerated basin de-inventory. Uh, their efforts will result, again, you don't need to know the particulars of the technology and those uh, to know how big of an impact. These efforts resulted in a cost reduction of over $4 billion. That is billion with a B, that's a lot of money, uh, saving all of us as U.S. taxpayers, and representing more than 20 year acceleration over the current approach for handling spent nuclear fuel stored in the L area disassembly basin at Savannah River. The team's tireless dedication to fulfilling DOE's missions of footprint reduction, facility deactivation, and nuclear nonproliferation has and will continue to benefit our department 
EM, and NSA, all of our missions and helps move several Savannah River facilities closer to deactivation. So for your contributions to our department and our nation, the Accelerated Basin De-Inventory Team is awarded the Secretary of Energy's Achievement Award. Congratulations to all of you and congratulations individually, but um, for all of the teamwork uh, as, as well. All right, second. Uh, second award winner is to the Hanford Groundwater Pump and Treat Team in recognition of your extraordinary contributions, to the continued operation and expansion of the peak pump and treat facilities uh, at Hanford. The team identified areas for improved contaminant mass removal that will accelerate the groundwater cleanup schedule, ultimately shortening the time and reducing the cost of groundwater cleanup for our department. And again, ultimately us as taxpayers. The program is instrumental in reducing risk to the public and the environment by reducing contaminants entering the Columbia River. The team is support achieving and surpassing the key performance goal of 2.2 billion gallons of groundwater treated. Uh, the EM team uh, does very little that isn't a lot in terms of billions uh, dollars, but also 2.2 billion gallons of groundwater treated per year for the past seven years and performed oversight to ensure a lifetime mass removal of 678 tons of contaminants just to date. So for your contributions to our department and our nation, the Hanford Groundwater Pump and Treat Team is awarded the Secretary of Energy's Achievement Award. Congratulations to all of you and thank you again for your teamwork. All right, our next award winner, again, these are all still in the EM team, is the Hanford Tank side cesium removal or TISCR, which is one of our better acronyms at DOE. We have some really bad acronyms, but TISCR i found is one of the catchier acronyms. Demonstration uh, integrated project team in recognition of your dedication to the completion and construction and the start of the very important TISCR project. Uh, TISCR represents the first large scale treatment of radioactive and chemical waste from large underground tanks at Hanford which is support the mission of safe and efficient retrieval treatment and disposal of 56 million gallons of chemical and radioactive waste stored in the site's 177 underground tanks, just to give you a sense of scale of what we're talking about here. The completion of this historic cleanup milestone was a significant step towards the direct feed low activity waste, DF law, uh, construction and startup of the treatment system was largely conducted and completed during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, as if it wasn't difficult enough to do what we need to do at Hanford, this was uh, much of this was done during the COVID-19 pandemic. Completed three months ahead of schedule, 29 million under the approved total project cost of $164 billion. Nothing better than doing it sooner and under cost. Uh, on any of our projects. For your contributions to our department and our nation, the Hanford Tisker Demonstration Integrated Project Team is awarded the Secretary of Energy's Achievement Award. Congratulations to all of you, again, for your individual efforts, but your team efforts as well. All right, next, still in the EM portfolio is Idaho Cleanup Project Buried Waste Retrieval Team, the extraordinary dedication uh, to completion of buried transuranic waste retrieval at the Idaho Cleanup Project. This team's efforts spanned over 17 years. Uh, some projects take a couple years, other projects take decades of time. This particular 